I have two news for you viewers, one from Somalia and the other from Ethiopia. We are hearing good news, some positive developments uh, from Somalia. Somalia was on the verge of a civil war just a few days ago, but better sense has prevailed there. But in Ethiopia, just a few hours ago, an interesting and surprising announcement has been made by Ethiopian government, Prime Minister of Ethiopia. No one could have imagined a few hours ago that Ethiopian government would declare TPLF as a banned organization. Yes, it has been done. Uh, it has been announced. Ethiopian Prime Minister office just a few hours ago issued a statement. The statement says that uh, TPLF, Tigray People's Liberation Front, and OLA, Roma Liberation Army are involved in attacks against civilians. Thousands of civilians have lost their lives because of attacks carried out by TPLF and OLA. And both TPLF and OLA are involved in backing, sponsoring, recruiting, organizing attacks against civilians. And both TPLF and OLA pose existential threat to Ethiopia. That is why under the Suppression and Prevention of Terrorist Crimes Act, TPLF and OLA have been declared as terrorist organizations. No individual can have any links to both TPLF and OLA. If anyone has links to OLA or TPLF, he can also be charged under the Terrorist Crimes Act. Yours, OLA is not a political party, it is an armed group. TPLF is a political party. It represents not hundreds, not thousands, tens of thousands, rather millions of people. Debrasian Gabriel Mikhail is the head of TPLF government viewers, which has been removed by Ethiopian federal government. How can you designate uh, a political party as a terrorist organization with one stroke of your pen? The party which represents millions of people. Why did this happen? What does this move indicate? Uh, in my view, viewers, uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, is under immense pressure. This is a pure election move, viewers. Abiy Ahmed badly needs Amhara support. Tigrayans and Oromos are not backing uh, Abiy Ahmed. He is relying on Amhara support. But Amharas are not happy with him. We saw protests across Amhara state uh, a few days ago. Views. In Bahirdar, in Gondar, in several key towns and cities, uh, Amharas protested against Ethiopian Prime Minister. People tore up his election pictures, viewers. With just one month remaining, uh, at the start of June, uh, elections will be held in Ethiopia. Just one month remaining, viewers. So, Abiy Ahmed is badly in need of Amhara support. Amharas have been killed in uh, Romia state, in some parts of Amhara state as well. So pressure was being exerted upon Ethiopian Prime Minister from Amhara community. He has given in to this pressure. He has decided to ban TPLF and OLA. While the world is calling for talks between TPLF and Ethiopian government, while the world is calling for inclusive dialogue to resolve Ethiopian crises, Ethiopian government has banned TPLF and OLA. Will international community accept this decision? I don't think so, viewers. International community will definitely reject this announcement by Ethiopian government. TPLF uh, is a power, is a political party to be reckoned with. You cannot ignore TPLF with just one stroke of your pen. Uh, secondly, viewers, I think uh, Ethiopian government and ENDF are not receiving good news from the battlefield as well. That is why they have decided to uh, 
ban TPLF and OLA. Now, uh, what remains to be seen, viewers, is that what will be the response of TPLF? Will TPLF go for legal battle or will it try to mobilize the international community, which it is already doing against Ethiopian government? That remains to be seen, viewers. Uh, now, uh, coming to Somalia viewers, uh, Somalia, we have some good news from Somalia viewers. Somalia was on the verge of a civil war just a few days ago, forces backing opposition candidates and from our Joe president of Somalia were on the loggerheads, they were close to starting a civil war in Mogadishu. But better sense is prevailed today from our Joe president of Somalia appeared in Somali parliament. He delivered a speech and after that voting was held and two year extension granted to Framajo a few days ago by Somali parliament has been withdrawn. Now Framajo has stepped aside, not stepped down viewers, he will remain uh, the president of Somalia but he won't be in charge of preparations of security arrangements for next elections. So he has stepped aside. Mohamed Roble, Prime Minister of Somalia, has been uh, given the responsibility of uh, uh, conducting next elections. A very positive move, viewers. Somalia seems to be moving in the right direction. But uh, we are seeing the opposite in Ethiopia. Watch uh, the speech delivered by Farmajo, President of Somalia, in the lower house of Somali parliament, viewers. I think for what. <laughs> ظروفها السياسية الدلكة كجا دائمًا هي مرحلة لها أكيرن الآن كجرنو إن عاد نلقى هذا تان إن لوجو نقطه أما لوجو لابته هشيس كي وضع أقل كأها عاد أنسي حسين لبعتين لحد سبتمبر لبعد يكون يلا بعتنك والله شرفت له وحن ربع إن عن عديو إن رئيس وزارة محمد حسين روبلة هو جامين دانو ديارنتا يهرجلينتا دار شدة يأمنية دار شدة سيدو كله فلنتا قرشها أمنية سيدو وافقسن دستور كذلك وحاسكله رئيس وزاره.